Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to separate comma, separate values or text or strings while ignoring those that are in parentheses or brackets. So let's say for example we have something like this and commonly when you use the text to columns feature or any kind of other separating type of capability, it might separate out like this because there's commas within the parentheses. We don't want something like that. Rather, we want something like this where it'll recognize that, hey, there's these commas inside of parentheses and this is all one big string and we want it separate out but not the former and I'm gonna show you two ways two examples one using VBA and the other one using text to columns so let's see how this works now the VBA one was one that I found off of Mr. Excel.com's form and this was an ex excellent example and it was fairly easy to use and in credit uh, this person the ELS, I'll hopefully I'm not mispronouncing this person's name, but this example was really fantastic. It was really quick. And I'm not good at VBA, so if you've got any questions, hit up this particular form entry and ask this guy the question because he's got the goods on this one. So, but let me copy this. Here I'm in Excel. Go to Developer, under Macros. Let's give a new macro name to this. Call it Split. Set, click Create. Delete that and control V to paste to put that in. Close it, it saves it. All I need to do now is select my range where I want to split that data. Go to macro and click run. And bam, we have our comma separated values minus anything that's in parentheses split out. So that was really nice. Uh, there, there are these artifacts here where these empty columns, I'll just go ahead and delete it, right click delete. But we do have our items that are split out. Now again, those of you that don't really like VBA, and I'm not really a VBA guy, or if you're on a Mac, you probably would prefer another option to do this. And let's see how we do this. Select this, right click, delete. And the way that we can do it is with the text to columns feature. With the regular text to columns feature, you're probably familiar with, you go to data, and then you go to text to columns, and very common, it's uh, delimited, and you click next, and you've got my, I got my comma here, click finish and you can see what it's done right it's messed it up quite a bit because those print those commas are gone control Z to undo that what we need to do is we need to find the items that have parentheses and put those in double quotes or single quotes if you don't have a lot of items that are uh, let's say they're, they're repeating and you don't have a lot of items that are uh, in parentheses this might work out for you all you need to do is just go to a control F and find your parentheses right you find your beginning parentheses and when you get into that cell you just need to make sure that whatever is in your cell string that you don't want to be broken up you can close it within the quotes single quotes or double quotes so you can see in this case it's that one within mix one two three here I'll do the first string that I want to enclose in quotes and that's going to make it where it see that is a whole string now when I go to text to columns click on that and I go delimit it and it's separated out by commas, click next. I want to make sure that my text qualifier is that double quotes, right? It can either be a double quotes, a single quotes, or none, but I'm gonna select double quotes. And you can see here, it's giving you a little preview and this is exactly what I want. And so I click on next or click finish and it's separated out. You can see that now it's separated out nicely. So the one downfall of this is if you have a lot of different ones here, uh, you might not be able to go through all of it. But if you've just got a few and they repeat and you've got kind of a list, yes, you have repeating items, you can probably do a control F to find the parentheses or the cells at parentheses and make the adjustments uh, with that and go to text to columns and kind of split them up. So that's the second way we can do that. Uh, more applicable to people who don't like VBA uh, are willing to go through trying to find those values where they can put it in quotes or if you're on a Mac and it doesn't work, the VBA doesn't work for you, this is another example of how we can do that. So there you go. That's how you can separate out strings or text with commas, but ignore those that are within brackets or parentheses. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.